Wimbledon fans. Want to figure on Wimbledon? Yeah. yeah. Any Beckham fans? Here? What does David Beckham do? It's his trademark. Plant the ball in the net. Kill a kid. Bend it like Beckham. Absolutely. Now, how does he do that? Who would have believed that both David Beckham and Wayne Rooney effectively have PhD level physics? No, <laughs> not obvious, but they do. I'm going to show you exactly how they do this. Uh, this is a cardboard tube. Okay, it's just a loo roll tube. And this is for the elastic, like you <coughs> do up your knitted loop. What I'm going to do is roll the elastic around the tube so that the elastic effectively is like rolling on top of itself. So it's pinning the roll of elastic on top of itself. And I'm just going to apply some tension and roll this up over the tube. So I've got a long sausage of elastic on the tube. And I'm going to let this go. So you need to watch what happens during short it, flight. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we've got liability insurance. So we're going to be okay, are you ready? Money, money. No. 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 Are you ready? Could see is it flew up in the air. <coughs> so why did it fly up in the air? And the answer is that I rolled it so that the elastic was fading in at the bottom and round the back and then I rolled it this way so that as the elastic stretched or accelerated the tube it also unwound it so that the tube began to spin and it was spinning so the bottom was turning towards the direction the tube was flying. Now, if you cast your mind back to the first Dr. Otherford demonstration that we showed you, <coughs> the Coanda effect, any fluid, including air, tries to stick to a curved surface, and a ball or a tube is no different. So as the tube is flying through the air, the air stream is trying to stick to the curved surface. But because that curved surface is also rotating, it's moving, <coughs> the air can stick better to the top surface than the bottom, and it's also pulled round the back of the tube. This means that because the air is being pulled down onto the tube <coughs> as it rotates. There's a net force pulling the air down, and therefore the air falls back on the tube, effectively the tube is pushed up. So this is what accelerates the tube up in the air. And this is how Wayne Rooney and David Beckham and also Killer serves at Wimbledon are done. <coughs> because if you take a tennis ball and you put huge amounts of top spin on it, effectively what we're doing is the reverse effect. And you're making it spin <coughs> downwards, so that as it travels, it also feels force downwards. So why doesn't it go downwards straight away? Why is it that that ball lands just inside the tram lines at Wimbledon? And the answer <coughs> is that when something goes very fast, the air around it is turbulent. No air can stick to the surface at all. But once it slows down just enough for the air to become laminar, nice straight lines again, the air begins to stick to the surface again very efficiently, and then you get this effect kicking in as the Magnus force after Henri Magnus, who's a Romanian scientist, and as a result, you get a force on the object accelerating it. And that's why that ball drops just inside the train lines. And that's the Magnus effect. David Beckham and Wayne Rooney are well across it.